Here's the third one. Some of us, we just need to get outside. Take a look at this. He says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. You know, I love the imagery that David paints here. In fact, if you could humor me for a moment, you could just close your eyes, and I want you to imagine laying out down in a green pasture and taking in the sights and the sounds and the smells, the sounds of the birds, and you can feel the heat of the sun on your face. And then I want you to imagine walking along a river, and you can hear the water, but it's quiet. And there are rocks and and plants and fish. And then I want you to imagine driving through heavy traffic on US 19. You can open your eyes now, of course. Friends, have you ever noticed that, that humans' creation often stresses us out? But when we go out into God's creation, it actually sort of calms us down? You know, when somebody says, hey, uh, when I'm out in nature, I feel closer to God, there's truth in that, right? When God created the very first humans, he didn't stick them in a single family home to sit on a couch and stare at a screen. No, what did he do? He stuck them in a garden to walk through and explore and stare at the beauty of everything that he created. You know, at the beginning of the pandemic, when there weren't a lot of indoor places that our family felt safe going, we, we said, hey, what are some outdoor places that we could go? And man, we were amazed in the Tampa Bay area how many parks and and groves and trails and all these things that are out there, places we've never been before. I've lived here practically my entire life, and there were places I didn't even know existed. And so ever since that time, for a couple times each month, we, we take our young daughters and we go out and we explore a new park or explore a new grove, explore a new trail, and as a family, we take the time to just admire the beauty of everything that God created, to to stand out by the mangroves and look out at the water towards Pinellas County and say, God, thank you for creating such a wonderful world for us to enjoy. And if I could speak to the parents and the grandparents just for a moment here, I want to encourage you, just having this experience the past two years, I want to encourage you to, to get your kids outside as much as you can. You know this just like I know this. When kids are inside, they're, they're kind of crazy, Right? I mean, they like tear things apart and they, they scream and they yell, but it's like, it's like you take them outside and most of the time it's like all of a sudden they become these calm, angelic creatures. And you're like, why can't you be like that inside while I'm cooking dinner, right? But the key is this, is that our young people today especially are growing up in a world where everything they're experiencing is part of human's creation. They're, they're in homes, they're in, they're in cars, they're in, with screens and toys and all these things, And one of the greatest gifts that we can give to our young people is to bring them outside and to explore and experience the beauty of everything that God created. You see, one of the ways that that we can nourish our bodies is simply to to get outside. As, As it says in Psalm 23, God restores our soul with his creation. The lady that cuts my hair every morning, almost every morning, she gets up and she goes out to the Gandhi Bridge and she watches the sunrise. And she tells me that she she sits out there and she thanks God for another day that she can admire the beauty and experience his creation. And she says in, in that moment, it restores her soul. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. I want to encourage you, if you've been indoors, especially a lot lately, get outside. I know today's not the best day to do that, but to spend some time getting outside every day and experiencing the beauty of God's creation. 